Hey, what's happening, y'all? Um, here's another lesson for y'all on some more advanced lyricism. Um, this one is going to be the way to properly rhyme, and it's the right way to rhyme everything. And uh, basically, what we're using here is close and open eyes. And we're learning that, you know, a lot of the videos before might be tiring, maybe erotic, maybe something that feels like, you know, you're constantly being like, pop milk. I drink a lot of milk, so, um, yeah. The point is here is that um, you have closed and open eyes. And you have to know that pressure has to do with this tool here. Um, also, the vagina is the exact same thing. Um, and the eyes are obviously, you know, as well, you know, kind of a compatible thing. It's kind of like looking at a Gundam, for example. It has a lot of different parts that intermingle with each other and can translate and transform transformers into other things. So, um, anyway, basically what we're saying here is that come is uh, a pressure that comes out. Also, our eyes have to be constantly watered all day, and as you use cum, to keep the eyes actually uh, wet. And um, it's just letting out a small amount of liquid. We also realize our mouth, when it's open, um, is also an eye and a vagina. And it can close our nose. It can be closed and open, and it can also it can also you know kind of open up too. It's also an eye and ears, you know, as well. And um, actions, you know, have a close and open. Um, but what we're learning right now is basically like staring at that light up there and how um, our eyes can look at something and that it is pushing at it. And um, one thing you can study is uh, Super Nintendo's or Nintendo or any PlayStation or any form of gaming console that has, you know, has like, you know, handheld controllers and, uh, you know, little things like that. And, um, anyway, the point here is, is that, uh, you actually hit things when, when something happens and you close your eyes and you want it to happen. When I, when you learn and think, when you're writing lyrics, you want to be able to have everything you say, be able to close your eyes and be able to push out. You know, like you learn, you're like, Ugh, you know, and that is the sound that you want to capture a word of. You know, be like hit or reach or anything with those, like, you know, you hit real hard on an enemy or something, and it says, you know, 30 hit points, or it'll say flash damage, or it'll say, you know, KO, or it'll say, you know, uh, finish, you know, or something like that. Um, that splash damage is basically the things that light up. It helps us learn. And um, you want to have things to be fixated on, things that you can stare at for a long time that you prefer. That way, your preferences are your own preferences. And uh, anyway, um, here, you know, you have the open eye, which is um, here it hit a tree, here it hit a wall, and here it hit the area. Now, an area to me is like something that I set as a diagram area. You know, it's kind of like, instead of saying, like, that everything out here is something, I can say, well, this is the set thing that I was looking at. Here's the distance of how far it is. Here's me looking at it. Here's how long it takes me to close my eyes and then to look at it, you know. And then once I've seen it, I kind of open my eyes one time so I would recollect exactly where it is. And then timing, you know, if I'm moving, you know, I'm like, you know, and then that was enough for me to make it to it, like envision, you know, like envisioning me touching where my hand is. And, you know, I could say hand, you know, and then it would be, you know, hand, remote, video game controller, and life, you know, experience, late, over, you know. <clears throat> Two eyes, you know, visualize, create a new kind, do kind to relate, you know, it's just something. But anyway, um, our tool down here that we use, you know, um, having our closed eye, um, you will realize that, you know, your, your dick is kind of like a, uh, like the 
tip of it is like a um, it's like a little bouncy bounce back mechanism. It's kind of like having a butt that can like look at stuff, you know, like you know, and it actually you know um, has pressure there. When you close your eyes, it's the same thing, this side and this side, and it actually will push, you know, and it, it's a good uh, metaphor, a good way to look at it is, uh, or physiphor or whatever, it's like having a, um, you know, like a knight will have like a visor shield and it has just one line, and you can only see with just the visor shield and it just cut completely across here. And you can just see just that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and um, anyway, when you know that eye is shut, though, you know you want to be able to draw what's in there. You know what you're seeing when you want to open your eyes, and when you don't. A good reference is like having sawdust that could get in your eyes, or sparks like if someone's cutting something can get in your eyes. You know, um, and avoiding that. You know, and I'm sure it would be kind of Sexy, you know, because we have to open our eyes and see, you know, and close them as well. This is a pressure as well, and it's pushing against it. It's like pushing with your ass. You know, this is like shitting right in someone else's ass, you know, like. I mean, you have to transfer data, you know, you can't, whoops, you know, well, I guess that means I'm gay or straight because I messed up. It has nothing to do with being gay, it's past being gay or straight. You know, if straight had to do with just me being religious and worshiping someone doing me, well, being gay would be the exact same thing, you know, at this point. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> so the point is, um, you know, hit area, hit area, so that your closed eyes have pressure. Um, then you come up with visuals, and you have to see words, and it's from constantly remembering video games. One good video game is Guitar Hero. That's a great video game to really look at timing and everything. You can see how you close your eyes and open them, and you're like, 100 points, yes, you know, made it through this one, bam, bam, bam. And when you mark something, and you're coming up on it, you know, you can get it right on point. You know, and um, here we have some words that I rhymed. Um, and here's the uh, little diagram of the closed eye and the open eye. Uh, we have ham, uh, encapsulated area, evaporated barrier, impact carrier, synapses variable, impact area, lids active there. And it said lids, but I said lids active there. And how those words will change a little bit is actually um, showing you how much... Um, Close, you have extra, and open, you have extra. So that's like the data being stored. When I said lens active there, and it said lens active there. So in theory, um, probably the most effective way to use this tool is to actually come up with a sounds like form of thing. So you're like, la, 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 la. like you come up with your own, um, instead of using an English form of these, you come up with whatever's left over of this lint of the words, and it would make new words. Um, I think probably for Well Williams, probably is one of the only people that's done it, or fabulous, probably. But let's just say no one did it. Let's just say that no one did. Um, and here, you know, you can basically count, you know, kind of the layers here, kind of like an onion. I have one through six, one, two, three, four, five, six, just after I counted them. And then over here, we have, you know, you, know, you can also watch it. Passing by as the words come by, it's like one, 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 and then you could look at something else too and refer it to two, 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 and three, 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 and four, 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 four. you know, and um, etc. It said four, 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 five, six, you know, it could continue going as well, and um. Here we have the eyes open and shut, and it says, this need food. And it's if the body was looking at something, and you have to be able to eat. You know, here we have some flan that I just ate, and a plate with nothing on it. Now, you always have to have two metaphors. You have to have something that you can go without, and something that you can go for. And you have to be able to block out what you're going against, and you have to block out what you're going for. And you have to also, you know, go after what you're against. 
and you have to go out what you're for. You know, you have to go, you have to know that these directions are pretty easy to understand, but you have to learn how to, you know, see something that's a goal. Like, it's like instructing yourself to do something. It's like saying, like, you know, if that food is available, then I'll be able to eat it. You know, but if it's not available, then I won't. And there's only going to be one way for it to go, whether you not. But anyway, it's just saying, you know, eating is kind of a good way to explain that. You know, if you're eating food, it's kind of like the same thing as having your eyes closed. You know, also, um, when your eyes open, kind of like not eating food. Because when you learn something, you usually close your eyes. Learn, you know, so when you eat, you know, a lot of people will you know, eat with their eyes shut, it feels like it, 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 you feel the shapes going down your system and swallowing and drinking it, whatever it is. And, um, you know, taking nutrients like that, you know, is really important. So, um, that's the open and close with that. And it's just going to finish off with the close and open pressure set.